Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. Now we are going to see the process of to lie or to comply defending against flood attacks in disruption tolerant networks. Here is the abstract of our process. Disruption tolerant networks or the mobile networks. It consists of mobility of nodes and also it has a limited buffer size and it is also vulnerable to flood attacks. Here we are using rate limiting method to define against flood attacks in disruption tolerant networks. Here we use the method climb carry and checks. It adds that each node counts the number of packets and sends the counts to other node. So that here we are using trusted authority. The trusted authority verify the count and provide a rate limit certificate. So the each node passes the rate limit certificate to every node. Based on the rate limit certificate, it verifies the rate, rate limit value from the packet count. So that it is uh, matched with uh, the particular node is valid node. Otherwise, it is uh, considered as an attacker. So the receiving node uses the climbs and process to find the inconsistent when the nodes are contact. So that we have to identify the malicious nodes behavior. Here is the DFT of our process. Here first we have to insulate the nodes for our network formation. After insulation the nodes of our, we have to declare the source and destination of our process. So the packet transformation in between the source and destination. Then move to the p claim and declaim process. Here before that move to that process, we have to consider that file splitting process. Here we have to split the file into number of packets whenever the transmission is occur. Then move to the exchange metadata. Here each and every node transmit their node id and transmission count and rate limit certificates and packet count values to that every neighbor node so that rate limit value is generated from that trusted authority based on packet size counts so that after retrieving that id information and packet count uh, value from the trusted authority the source node sends the information to that nearby nodes so that in each and every node it have the rate limit certificate value so that that node verifies the rate limit value with the packet sent by the source node if it is matched means it consider it's a valid source node otherwise it's discard the otherwise it discard the packets then move to the next neighbor nodes so that for the end packets we have to generate p claim and t claim after verify that packet with the receiver receive the packets if it is uh, then moves to the check for inconsistent process inconsistency means we have to verify the client checking process so that here the transmission count and also the packet count is uh, greater than the rate limit value means here we have to identify the uh, malicious behavior is identified in that process so that we have to identify the source node of the packet sent uh, received from that source node so the particular node is identified as a attacker if it is a uh, true means uh, check in question and store that new clients if it is failed means we have to discard packet so that we have to easily evaluate the malicious behavior in that neighbor nodes now we have to see the demo of our process here first we click the hope.java then move to the node creation process here by clicking network formation enter the nodes limit we have to enter the network formation here the node limit is one s2 the node is the start destroyer we have to the transition path here the based on the neighbor node the correction is trotted from data runs occurred then move to the next process here we have to choose any file for data transferring so that, that file is splitted into buses so here split procedure is split count in 5 the split size is 2 kb and that file name is attack ip dot dash then move to the splitting process the file are splitted successfully and stored in that location and then move to the next process here we have to choose the splitter data next here we have to select any splitter data that data is displayed then move to the client process here we have to display the packet phone and packet says then the intermediate nodes are displayed then move to the run that trusted authority dot java here is the ta dot java here in source node we have to click the pk is sent to that so that pk is sent to that trusted authority and the neighbor nodes will start sent to the trusted authority so here to see the source node id and move to the process means then trusted authority evaluate the key generation then show me the key algorithm so that we have to call the rate limit certificate for that file so in that process we have to move that next process here here by clicking send limit means 
uh, the light limit value is set to that source node here by clicking this the value is received from node so we have to evaluate that neighbor node is set to so that here the rate limit certificates are generated the certificate rate limit values are that node id these are the values of generator and by clicking send certificate means that value is generated to the receiver set source node 1 here we have to evaluate the node id and packet count and transmit so these are the packets are transmitted from source node 2 as an 2 then we move to that next process here we have to then we have to run the sn2 dot java for transmitting process we have to run the sn2 dot java so here the sn1 send that id to that sn2 here by clicking node admits the id was received then the packet count also and we have to see the run transmission count in that version receive transmission count and also send the send rate limit certificate value here also receive the rate limit certificate value so here by clicking transmission count here the sn2 transmission count is calculated and also the neighbor node for next transmission of sn2 to sn3 then we have to give the we give the acknowledgement process here we have to click the acknowledgement process so that in that process we have to click that send acknowledgement to source node 1 in the process the ram is noting here the sn2 response successfully so that validity is in that 11 seconds it has to put the validity in that sn2 so that we have to send that packet to sn2 by clicking send all here receive all means the process is here by clicking climb carry means the rate limit value send the packet counts so that here the uh, sn1 is valid node then moves to the transmission from sn2 to sn3 here by clicking data means the sn2 source node data are stored in the climb carry checker process here we have to evaluate the malicious node behavior means we have to run the packet plan detection dot server we have to detect the packet plan detection here is considered as an attacker so that it will terminate that sn3 the attacker is uh, incoming bits here that id is retrieved from that attacker so that here by clicking send id bits here the node id is received and also send packet count bits here the packet count is also displayed and also send uh, rate limit certificate means here also receive rate limit certificate and also send transmission count means here also receive the transmission count and also here the transmission count the neighbor node is base station node is base station either so display here also the if uh, send the packet means the sn2 start the acknowledgement process here the button send acknowledgements means the acknowledgement received So the here the SN3 validated successfully. So that XN uh, SN validated in the in that seconds. Here we consider the button so that here then attacker sends the uh, data to that base station savings. We are going to run that base station process. Attacker send that ID means here by clicking send ID. Here by node ID, node ID will be displayed. And also the updated packet count is to be sent to that. Uh, base station means here the packet count will be displayed and also send that rate limit here also by clicking receive rate limit rate limit also displayed and also send transmission count value means here by clicking receive trans transmission count are displayed and also transmission count and then a neighbor node has to be displayed so that for that process we have to move to that acknowledgement process here by clicking that acknowledgement process waiting for acknowledgement here by clicking sending acknowledgement the acknowledgement send so that the response time is evaluator like that the node is to be uh, acknowledged the time is to be evaluated in that process here that is acknowledged successfully so that by clicking send all packet means here by clicking receiving the packet will be seen. so that we have to verify the client numbers. so that here that packet count is greater than the rate limit value so that invalid packet count so the sn3 is an attacker thank you